Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like me and if not, manifest, plan and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you guys it's surely coming to you all for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different Well and you come and learn what's going on with the girl, yeah? Speaking of coming learning, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC. We're a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? All right, you guys. So today is Sunday. Uh, July 2nd, the first week in July, I want to start it off right, you know, you guys know on Sundays we do our spiritual motivation content and so today is going to be all about radical faith, you know, what is radical faith, how do we display radical faith, how can we keep it, what to expect from it, uh, so let's get right into it you guys. Um, Radical faith is basically having being, having so much faith so assured of yourself that, you know, in God's love and faith in you that you believe and you're worthy of asking for anything that you want. So, for instance, I have so much radical faith within myself and in God that I'm bold enough and, and, and willing enough and feeling that I'm worthy enough to ask him to allow me in my business in this book that I've written, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, to be a Pulitzer Prize winner. Uh, again, it may not happen overnight, it may not happen next year, but eventually it'll happen and that's what radical faith is, it's just believing that any impossible can happen for you just because you have so much faith assured in God. As a matter of fact, there's one script in the Bible that I like to uh, refer to when it comes to radical faith. It's uh, Matt, Matthew, excuse me, Matthew 7, 11, right? Uh, and it states, walking by radical faith means being so assured of God's love that you are not afraid to ask for what you want. So again, you're so assured in God's love for you that you're not afraid to ask for what you want or for what you need and, and believing in that you will receive it in, in due time. Now again, radical faith doesn't mean asking for what you, what you want and getting it the next day. It doesn't happen like that. So anybody out there that's thinking, oh, well, I have so much radical faith that I believe it so much, it's going to show up the next day. No, it's not. It doesn't work that way. Um, it also means you guys have to put in the work. Don't forget, faith without work is dead. And so having radical faith means you have to have radical work doing something or doing the things that your opponent won't do, you know, doing something out of the ordinary. Uh, for instance, for me, a couple of weeks back, Roland Martin had an event here in Houston, and I went there to promote my book and uh, let him see my face and try to get on his show. Uh, but I wasn't only there just for him. I was at a network with any and everybody who I saw as an opportunity, and uh, that was a lady, lady that's a uh, here uh, CEO of the Houston Defenders newspaper. And so, seeing her going to the restroom, and um, I just had to pull, you know, one of the temptations move when they, you know, cornered Barry Gordy in the restroom. I went and cornered her in the restroom, and so. Um, and it wasn't planned at all. It was just I seen an opportunity and I took it, man. So that's what radical faith and radical work means. It's doing something out of the ordinary, taking a step out on faith and, and just doing something bold just to push towards your dreams and goals and what you believe that you're destined for. So again, uh, radical faith is a must to have when it comes to you know being on your spiritual journey, your walk with Christ. Uh, again, I'm not a religious person, but I am more so of a spiritual person. So again, that's why I do spiritual content for those out there that are believers in Christ. And even as well for those that are religion, you know, Christians and Muslims, I have no problem with you guys. Just for me, I had to lose religion in order to gain a relationship with God. But that doesn't mean I still, you know, don't abide by his will and his rules when it comes to his book, right? All right, you guys, so with that being said, I want you guys to check out this uh, inspiration vlog I found. I try not to butcher her name, but uh, she talks about radical faith. As a matter of fact, I think this the book is, uh, excuse me, vlog is titled A Breakthrough Prayer for Radical Faith, I think. <laughs> but her name is uh, Deborah Prisbeliski. Uh, and so she's the one who's narrating and talking about this video. So check it out. When we'll come back, we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in Difference World and tomorrow in Radical Faith. Yeah? Here it is. 
We're going to be praying a prayer today, and it's an important prayer. And here's a guy with his hands outstretched, believing God for radical things. And that's what God wants for us, doesn't he? This is going to be a breakthrough prayer for radical faith, what we all need. And we can't have radical faith unless we're really studying God's word. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Word of God is so important if we're going to be living by faith. So this is what this is all about, a prayer for radical faith. And Hebrews 11:6 says, Without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. So we need to diligently seek Him. In His Word, in prayer, we need to diligently seek God. So let's pray this prayer together. Pray it out loud with me. Lord, I pray for a radical and strong faith that does not waver in hard times. I know that without faith, it is impossible to please you. Hebrews 11:6. The Bible says that the work of God is to believe. John 6, 28 through 29. Help me to believe your truth when I pray, even in the darkest of circumstances. Make the foundation of my life firm and strong. Help me not to have an evil heart of unbelief. Hebrews 3.12 I pray what the disciples pray. Lord, increase my faith. Luke 17.5 Help me to hold up the shield of faith when the enemy throws flaming arrows at me. Ephesians 6.16 I choose to live a faith-filled life for your glory. I choose to stand on your truth every day. I want to believe you and trust in your word. I want to have radical faith like Moses when he brought your chosen people through the Red Sea. Help me not to try to figure everything out, but trust in your ability to carry me through the hard places. Teach me to read, meditate, study, and pray your word. I know that my faith grows by hearing your word. Romans 10, 17. Help me to take action as you show me what to do in my life. James 2, 17. I worship you and thank you, Lord, right in the midst of my present circumstances. Now name a difficulty you are right now facing in your life. Think about it and then name that difficulty to God and worship God right in the midst of it. I know that you answer and help me. I choose to praise you today. And I know that thanksgiving and praise prepares the way for your victory. Psalm 50, 23. Thank you for building character in my life through the obstacles I face. I choose to count it all joy because this test of faith develops perseverance and maturity in my life. James 1, 2 through 4. Because I trust in you, I can cross the Red Sea of my circumstances. You'll provide a way through. You are the God of the breakthrough. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. So pray all of Psalm 145 to the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And it's great to pray the Word of God together. And it's great to pray for radical faith. And again, we need to study the Word of God and pray to God because He answers believing prayer, especially always when we pray His Word. Let's read this. Mark 11, 22 to 24 together. Have faith in God, for assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Mark 11, 22 through 24. So look at these mountains. Have faith. Believe God to break through the mountains in your life. 
I don't know what the mountains are for you. It could be your health, could be your job, could be your circumstances. It could be your family. It could be your marriage. It could be a whole host of things. But believe by faith and don't doubt in your heart that God can remove those mountains and God can break through for you. Let's read this by Ian Bounds. Faith that creates powerful praying is a faith that centers itself on a powerful person. Faith in Christ's ability to do and to do greatly is a faith that prays greatly. And may the Lord bless you as you grow in your faith, as you grow in reading the word of God, proclaiming his truth in his word, and believing him for breakthrough in your life. And this prayer is for radical faith. It's a breakthrough prayer for radical faith. So may the Lord give you radical faith as you pray it. God bless. All right, you guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that inspiration video uh, titled A Breakthrough Prayer for Radical Faith uh, by Deborah Prisless B. Pris I don't even know why I tried it. Deborah P. <laughs> uh, it's her name. She's the um, source for that video. So again, uh, it talks about radical faith and what it means and how do you achieve when it comes to going for your goals and with your walk of Christ. It, it just means having so much faith and being so assured of yourself that God loves you enough for you not to be afraid to ask for what you want. Not necessarily what you need. God knows what you need. And at times you, you still have to say it out loud what you need. But asking for things that you want that, that seems insurmountable or, or far-fetched or some things that you're feeling or people will say, oh, you're not worthy of. You believe in yourself and God's faith in, in you and his love in you so much that you are not afraid to ask for it, you know. You have to look at how all these, you know, people and celebrities and entertainers and actors and actresses and people of such that you know there's the rich and famous people how, how do they come up and how do they do it and, and oftentimes when you hear in their speeches they're thanking God for you know all of their blessings and you know gifts that he bestowed upon them and so I have to think you know they have to have some sort of uh, amount of radical faith of faith in Christ when it comes to going for their dreams and goals so that again that's what it takes just uh, going after, you know, what you believe in. It takes radical faith, hard work, and, and uh, uh, what's that shit? Sorry, oh, my dad didn't know. It takes hard work, dedication, uh, perseverance, and, and of course, radical faith within yourself and in God. Like I said, the faith without work is dead. So remember that, you guys, having radical faith increases your chances of reaching your dreams and goals. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be a lot quicker, but it just ups it up a notch, in my opinion. So, again, if you guys agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. Just show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting with these vlogs I'm dropping, all the reviews, you guys, and the sharing. Please keep it coming and don't stop. Don't forget as well, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you can check out all my other social media handles, including my TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Etc. Cetera, et cetera. As well as you guys, don't forget those out there looking for motivational speakers, uh, looking to do collaborations for your podcasts, the grassroots conversations. You can get at your girl. I'm free of charge as of now. All you guys have to do is go to my website and book your girl there. Yeah. Also, lastly, believe, don't forget go to my website differenceworld.net and get a copy of my book What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift Again, this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America and I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations so again, if you can't take this time of heat, still come on to the kitchen Why? That's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that needs to be had that are often swept under the rug, people like to turn a blind eye to. This book was written in a way that'll get your attention and and push that envelope to have these thought-provoking conversations so that we can come up with ways that we can talk about unity, accountability, acknowledgement, and ultimately systemic change. And so again, go to my website, differencewell.net, and you get your copy of my book, 
what if a controversial paradigm shift you guys again thank you so much for all the love and support you guys are showing me i truly truly appreciate it keep it coming and don't stop you guys i can't wait to see what life looks like for me you know three to five years down the road with this and so Again, stick with your girl. That's why you guys got to hit that notification bell and the subscribe button. So when I drop content, you guys come into a different world. And you guys come and learn what's going on with you, girl. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is Monday. And so, again, be on the lookout on Mondays. We do our motivational vlogs. And so, again, hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. So when I drop the content, you come into a different world and you come and learn. Yeah. All right, you guys, moving right along with the difference train. Uh, what else we got going on in difference? Well, we always have our mental health check, you guys. So let's go ahead and do that for those out there, including myself, that may need it. Anybody going through any type of mental anguish, including depression, PTSD, uh, having suicidal thoughts, anxiety attacks, even dealing with bullying or, you know, drug relapse. It's okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean to you. Talking with a family member, a therapist, a friend, picking up a hobby, mending broken bridges, cut people off, getting on medication if that's need be. You know, do whatever it is that you have to do that keeps your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or text 741-741. Or for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. and that's looking at your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can check out incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E N C O U N S C L I N G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, at the end of the day, it's on you to do your own homework and find what works best for you because, again, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Nobody else but you. And also, I want you guys to remember whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through in the, at this time in your life. You will get to it, through it, and this too shall pass. So going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it, so don't do it, okay? And so we're going to close our mental health check on some positive vibes and moving on and close out of this vlog. Again, you guys, uh, remember to have radical faith when it comes to going after your dreams and goals. And again, radical faith means, you know, you having so much faith in God and that he loves you so much that you are not afraid to ask for what you want and, and receiving it. And so, again, when it comes to that. Uh, those tools and uh, mindset of what it is to achieve your goals, you have to have radical faith. And again, if you like this video that I'm bringing you guys today, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and definitely you guys hitting that subscribe button for your girl. I appreciate it. Uh, as well as don't forget whatever it is in life that you are feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.